Hi, it's Friday and it's Torah today, relevant today as ever. Bereshit. First and foremost, what do we need to know at the very outset? That Hashem is the creator of the world, the mastermind, the one that puts everything into motion and orchestrates every single thing down to the movement of a little leaf. And yes, He, Hashem, God, is the only one we can turn to and the only one who is in charge. That's Bereshit number one. Bereshit number two, another first and foremost that we need to be cognizant of. Bereshit, Torah is really an instruction book, but yet there are no instructions in the whole first book of the five books of the Torah. And that's because the Torah again wants to establish why and how we were singled out to be Hashem's people. History begins with a decadent people, starting from Cain, the murderer, then the, the nation of the flood, living in total immorality unabashedly, and finally, finally, we have the lone star, Avraham emerges and begins to preach monotheism and shed light on morality and truth in the world. And so the Torah says, Genesis, it's the history of our people and the declaration that Hashem chose us because we, we alone, are the light unto the nations. We are the ones to awaken divine consciousness in the whole world around us, in that unethical world that is unprincipled without us sharing the truth, the values that the Torah teaches us. And now it's Shabbat Bereshit. This week we start fresh anew. We read and we begin to learn the Torah again. So let's talk about beginnings, new beginnings. At this point in our history, in our lives, we need to look at a new perspective. We need to raise ourselves to a higher consciousness and become totally comfortable and cognizant of the fact that we are a nation of God. We are a nation existing then and today are miracles. Every one of us is a miracle. And as rough and disheartening and overwhelming as this nisayon and a nisayon is, hidden in that word is nais, a banner to herald greatness. And let's look and celebrate the greatness of the Jewish people, the amount of constant prayers, tefillot, all around the world, all the aid, first aid, medical, army equipment, the mitzvot that the soldiers are doing, demanding, requesting, tzitzit, mezuzot, tefillin, the list goes on and on and on. Such greatness. You know, in life, there's pain and there's beauty. And more often than not, they exist at the same time. How relevant is that to us right now? And in that same Nisayon test is Nais, is miracle. It uncovers the miracle in us. We reach a new perspective, a new growth, a new awakening. It inspires us to start something new. So let's take this time and address new beginning, a new awareness. In life, what do we want more than aliveness, vitality, feeling the moment, being aware every moment? Hashem recreates the world every single second. It's not like, chas v'shalom, God forbid, He created the world and abandoned it. He is here every single moment. And each moment is an opportunity for us to breathe new life, to breathe new perspective, 
new impetus and drive into what we are doing. So let's take this time to become more self-aware, to become more connected, to feel the Torah is fresh and new. We say every morning in our morning prayers, Baruch atah Hashem noten ha-Torah. Hashem is giving us presently the Torah. Let us see it as a fresh new gift. Do something new every single day or do it better so it feels fresh and new. And let us remember, take the first step in faith even though you don't see the steps of the staircase further on. Today is a new day, a fresh day. And let's make each day, or never mind, each moment really count so we can bring back that Bereshit, that original vision that Hashem has. And we will embrace it so soon with Mashiach. The light of day, morning will come. It has no choice. Have a beautiful Shabbat.